afternoon, an icy rescue on Boston Harbor. Frightening moments for three people on a sinking tugboat. The water temperature is just 37 degrees. Susie Steinle is live for us in Boston with a closer look at this. This was scary, Susie. Absolutely, Catherine. It was a very close call out on the harbor this morning. These three men were pulled from the freezing cold water, and the man who rescued them says he just happened to be in the right place at the right time. I was on the other side of the airport here, and we heard the distress call to the Coast Guard. Joe Maloney just happened to be drifting in the harbor, getting his day started on board the Chelsea with the Boston Pilots Association when a call came in for help. Ordinarily, he'd be docked around 6 a.m., but this day, he was moving more slowly than usual. It was perfect timing, just perfect timing. He just happened to be close by when a tugboat started sinking fast. They started taking on water, and they noticed it, and then, bang, she was gone. With water temperatures hovering in the high 30s, every minute matters. Three, four minutes, you start to lose muscle. In, in water this temperature, five, eight minutes, like that, five yeah. eight minutes, you're dead. The position he was in cut the rescue time in half. All three men are doing just fine. Oh, they didn't even go to the hospital thanks to this quick rescue, which meant a lot to Joe Maloney because the call came in not just from a fellow boat captain, but a longtime friend. Doug Richmond, he's an experienced uh, tugboat captain. He's been around for years. One of the nicest guys you ever meet, ever. So Just what's a, that like for you to get to help him it, out? It makes me very emotional, you know. I, I try not to be, but, you know, I know he'd help me. Joe Maloney, who you just saw there, who pulled these men from the water, says after they warmed up, the first thing they asked for was his cell phone. That's because all of theirs got wet when the tugboat sank, and they'd called their families just moments before to tell them they didn't know if they would survive. So they were happy to make that phone call and let them know they were safe on ground. We're live in East Boston. Susie Steimel, WBZ News. Catherine, back to you.